into second spot, a couple of car lengths back from Catchpole. <laughs> oh, we got one round early, and Dawson in that beautiful number 17, straight into the front. Starters, 10 laps of the journey, heat one of the TFH Midget Series at Brisbane, let's pull the trigger. We go racing. Dylan gets the jump on the outside. Whitaker all over the racetrack. Moore comes to a skid. And the yellows will come on Trevor Rusty Whitaker. I think there's damage if Al can get in. With Cody Stothard and Nathan Mathers. But it is the Kiwi. Oh! Stothard gets it all sideways. Mathers gets into him. Dylan nowhere to go. And it is Stothard who ends up bringing on the yellows, Trev. Now, it's not very often you see the car that starts it is the car that's left behind. To run, and the Kiwi says, come and get me. We go racing. Stewart, running right the wheel tracks. Rusty Whittaker doing a great job. How did Kendall keep that on four wheels? That's the top three, nose to tail. What more wants an invite to the party? Breaks away up in the four spot, Dean. Gives Whitaker a little kiss on the back, and Dean's over! Have a look at Morgan in the wheel tracks, and it's Corbett spins the 78, he'll keep it green. Shot out of Absolutely slingshots. Oh, Allfield makes the mistake, does a 360, we go yellow. Second. Cody Moroski gives Bullsville a little kiss. That upsets the 27, and Trevitt stacks on the mill down yeah, the middle. 3-4 turn, look at the traffic jam. Oh, into the fence goes Ayers. Holy Moses, how did DJ end up there? Now, how did Darren Jensen do that? He's mounted the hang, thumped the water tank, and dropped it back down on its tail. Fittest man in Speedway does, uh, whoa, problems for Farmer. He gets right up in the mine and see Rhino. And of course the trackside shot, plenty happening as Dylan gets into the side of the 83 of Matty Heffern on the start. Keeping an eye on the lights, looks like we are green. Kendall, Rook. It's this one. Dawson, oh, Gibbs brings himself undone. Did it all. Another big jump, lines are up, taps the brake. Oh, Brisbane. Plenty of air and sideways that time. Back of the field. Back to green we go. And look at Kennedy straight to the top side of the racetrack. Has a look on Caden Iverson. Oh, gets over the wheels of Iverson, tears the wing off, and Iverson's around. Got straight over the left rear of Caden Iverson. Tore the barge board off his wing. Big kiss on the entry to three. Keeps it running and setting sail after the 35. Brown doing a brilliant job at the moment. Keeping it off the concrete. Just got the right rear in there enough to get the moisture. Now right on the hammer of the Kiwi, Michael Kendall. Kendall has to check up. Brown has a good look on the top side. Kendall doing enough to be able to stay out front. Brown asking every question he can of the Helltech number 11. Right up in the powder. Loses a bit of ground to Kendall that time out of two. Kendall just stabbing the brake. Floats up in front of Brown as they have a look at the top side, Kendall having a quick look. Seeing if there's anything up there. Has Brown got something that Kendall hasn't? Kendall comes back to the bottom. That's where he feels comfortable, side by side of the tower. How they didn't touch underneath the stripe as they continue the drag race down the back straight. Brown up against the boards, the chairman. Gets that lap at the stripe. A new leader out of two. Oh, one slowing in front. Oh, hold your breath, Brisbane. Morgan, Kratzman. 
And again, McHugh up on two wheels, Trev, as he comes through the 3 4 turn. Yeah, he's biting that cushion hard up in uh, three and four, but he's keeping control of the car at the moment. But you just got to think that maybe one time it might bite him just a little bit too hard as he just settles down the bottom now, catching up with the back markers once again. Rolfield starting to close in on the back of Morosky as Kelly flies through. Still Britton back there in fifth from Brian Mann. Oh, McHugh in the fence! Oh, McHugh's got the wall. He got the wall down in three and four. That caution got him, he got over it too hard. Has it damaged the race car? Moroski gets through, McHugh comes back down the bottom side. Here comes Moroski again. It's slide job city between these two at the moment. McHugh looks to drive back underneath. Can't get the job done, Moroski gets the lead, gets over the cushion, the car's bouncing all over the racetrack. McHugh, Oldfield's not out of this either. Oh, it's Phil. almost a three-way dogfight. Once again, McHugh bicycles the car. Oh, Phil can see what's going on. The car not behaving the way it did early in the race. McHugh really starting to fight this thing as Moroski starts to pull it on the bottom side and drive away from second and third. McHugh fires the NQ7 on the top side, tries to box himself between Bullsman and Moroski. Moroski slides up in front. What a fantastic battle! Moroski hanging on by his fingertips, oh. wheels up for McHugh! Don't say there's no grip out on that racetrack, McHugh clawed the sky then, and the cars are all over the place, Moroski and McHugh are at it! There is his gloves off, 10 rounds, it is on! Young Randy Morgan slow on the top side, everybody has to get away from the Morgan Metal Corp machine. It is still Moroski from McHugh, Oldfield's watching this go on and thinking, I'm going to be the benefactor of this in a minute. These guys are at it. It is 10 rounds. Gloves off. And they were at it. What a race in round one of the East Coast Logistics Series. That track is absolutely sensational at the moment, providing some fantastic racing. Morgan flat right front brings the MMC Morgan Metal Corp 54 to the infield. Katie Moroski. 10 laps to run in a 30 lap journey. How many slide jobs between those two in the last six laps? In traffic as well. Moroski, McHugh, Oldfield, Kelly. Great drive by Kevy Britton, Trev to still find himself in the top five. Yeah. We go green one more time. And it's Moroski, McHugh and Oldfield, the same top three. McHugh looking to battle to get back in the front. As Trevor just explained, he comes to the bottom side, looks for a slide job. Moroski cuts back underneath, side by side under the tower. McHugh, Moroski, here comes Oldfield. And McHugh just got the fence out of two. Luke Oldfield sweeps around underneath. Four laps to run. Oldfield leads. McHugh comes back, slides up underneath. Rob Moroski. Britain wants to get involved. Oldfield leads the way in the borrowed engine. Two to run this time by. Luke Oldfield, it's been a long time between drinks. Toowoomba was his last win. McHugh smacks the cushion. Moroski still third. One lap to travel. Oh, the place will erupt. McHugh comes deep. It's Luke Oldfield's night. He gets the win over McHugh. Moroski home for third. Brian Mann, Kevin Britton, Adam Butler, Tim Fell, Ryan McNamara, Nicholas Roll, Anthony Lambert, Trent Vardy, Brent Kratzman, Mitch Cowan, Christy Bonzi, Sam Bullsman. That's your finishers. Oh, Trevor Ripper. What a cracker of a